So the Punchestown Chase will end day two. That's a two and a half mile grade one from Punchestown. And we've got a small but select field for this one. A specialist distance of two and a half miles. And Gold Coast is at the top for Kevin Meehan, Mirza and Nubis for Graham Clutterbuck. Monkey Bay, Darren Thompson, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leedham, Swain, Forkbeard, Leon Van Rensburg and the Long Paws, Joshua Sutherland. So, wide open contest this one. Uh, just six of them. And it looks like Mirza and Nubis is king to get a good start. Got a four or five length advantage at the beginning there. So that was a little bit uh, naughty. But Mirza and Nubis gets into the first. And they're all safely over the first. These punches town fences are big but soft. And it's Mirza and Nubis who's in the lead. With the long pull second. Monkey Bay closest to us is third. Gold Coast right over on the far side is fourth. As they get into this ditch. And they're all safely over that one. Those Swain Forkbeard and the long paws. Took a while to get over it. They settled themselves down and sorted themselves out. They've only got 11 more fences to take. Just a 13 fence race this one. And Mirza and Nubis is in the lead. Probably well, not quite as much as he started off in the lead at the moment. Monkey Bay and Gold Coast are sharing second. Then a gap to Sapphire and Steel, Swain, Forkbeard. And finally the Long Paws. So into the next they go. Oh, Sapphire and Steel decided to run straight through that one. Luckily, they're pretty soft fences and got away with it. And Mirza and Nubis leads by four. To Monkey Bay in second. Gold Coast on the inside is third as they come up past the stand and past the big screen. And then past the winning post. The big screen got a video of the race on this time rather than reminding us where we are. And Mirza and Nubis is five lengths clear of Gold Coast in second as they get to this next one and cool Gold Coast right down on its nose there did not jump that at all well Mirza and Nubis is clear of the rest of them in front Graham Clutterbuck will be hoping it doesn't have the same as what happened in the last race where his horse led all the way and got caught on the running and they get to the next and they're all safely over that again one or two of them a little bit ponderous but Mirza and Nubis is still the leader we're on Gold Coast and then Monkey Bay and then Long Paws and then Swain Forkbeard and finally Sapphire and Steel as they get over the 6th and they're all safely over the 6th with Graham Clutterbuck to Mercer and Nubis four lengths clear with Gold Coast for Kevin Meenahan on the inside of the green in second Darren Thompson's Monkey Bay is next as they get over the ditch that one's now jumped into second then the long paws in the black and red hoops of Joshua Sutherland Leon Van Rensburg, Swain Forkbeard is over on the rail in the blue and then closest to a sapphire and steel is the back marker for the commentator but it's Mirza and Nubis who's in the lead from Gold Coast in second as they make their way towards the next and all safely over that although Gold Coast is a bit slow and sapphire and steel jumped it nicely and jumped up into second place but Mirza and Nubis is still the leader. Gold Coast being pushed back into second on the flat. Sapphire and Steel closest to us is third. Then the Long Paws. Then Monkey Bay. And then Swain Fortbeard as they take the ninth. And they're all safely over that one as well. And now Mirza and Nubis is almost joined by Gold Coast. Sapphire and Steel. Jockey's got a keen hold on that one in third. Then the Long Paws. Over the next they go. That was the tenth. They've only got three more to take. And Gold Coast has hit the front. So Gold Coast takes it up. Sapphire and Steel on the outside. Mirza and Nubis now starts to backtrack in third then comes the long pause then Swain Forkbeards after that one Monkey Bay is the back marker but Gold Coast is the leader Mirza and Nubis is trying to fight back on the near side Sapphire and Steel now the long pause is coming into it Swain Forkbeard behind them then Monkey Bay they race to the third last and over it they go Mirza and Nubis jump back into the lead there it's Mirza and Nubis who's gone back into the lead from the long pause Gold Coast Sapphire and Steel Swain Forkbeard is now coming through with a strong looking run Monkey Bay is the only one who looks beaten as they come down the second last and over that one it was Sapphire and Steel's turn to jump into the lead Sapphire and Steel then Mirza and Nubis trying to fight back then the gold the long coast then the gold coast and trying to come around the outside Swain for me but Mirza and Nubis is back in the lead Sapphire and Steel is battling away though as they race down towards the final fence and it's on the inside Mirza and Nubis closest to a Sapphire and Steel Swain for me trying to run on down towards the final fence they go and they come to it it's all going to come down to the jump I think then as they race to it now it's Sapphire and Steel closest to a 
Ruth gets over, but makes a dreadful mistake, and Swain Fortbeard jumps into the lead, and it's Swain Fortbeard who's now going on. Sapphire and Steel is trying to battle back from that mistake, but it's Swain Fortbeard who's in front. Sapphire and Steel's eating up the ground, so too is the long pause. It's got to be close to the flat past the post. It's got to be the long pause who's going to take it. The long pause is going to win the punches down. Jay Sapphire and Steel second, then Swain Fortbeard and Gold Coast. And a race that totally changed complexion at the last and I don't think the commentator would be being biased if he said that if Sapphire and Steel had jumped the last she would have won that she's been beaten by the long pause whose long game was better and didn't make a mistake at the last so the top rated long pause takes it from Joshua Sutherland and Sapphire and Steel was second for Martin Lee Swain fourth being for Leo Van Rensburg was third Gold Coast for Kevin Minan fourth and Mirza and Nubis for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.